And welcome to an exclusive small gold report. Chinese Saudi documents prove game over. I received an email last night from Bei Tu Wong from Hong Kong, and I could tell from the Hong Kong email address, purporting to be from the Institute of Precious Metals in China. And it was in small print, and I had to increase the font and then print it out. So it said to me, Dear Luz, L O O S. I don't know if he meant Coos, I don't know what, why he put Dear Luz. Maybe that's how they spell Lewis. I, then I had to get it translated. I write you because you know the case China's missing gold. China now revealing gold and silver plan internally inside China, and I share you because you less known than other American gold writer. I don't know what that means. I attach report for spies only in China. I think what he means is that this is some type of internal confidential document, report for spies only in China. Okay, so here is what it looks like, the document when I've blown it up. So you could take a look there and maybe do your own translation. Then in reading the report, the translation, it says China has locked up the gold and silver worldwide supplies via aggressive imports and through buying controlling shares in nearly all major mining operations in Africa, Asia, and South America. China also plans coup de grace. Oh, coup de gras by buying massive long gold and silver contracts on the COMEX through intermediaries that they intend to stand for delivery and take delivery from a COMEX approved warehouse via a U.S. holding company. Hmm. China knows that the gold and silver can't be delivered and that is why they are standing for delivery in smaller increments. As early as next month, they intend to bust up COMEX and scatter two winds. When they announced their 40,000 ton gold position, an undisclosed silver position. Through arrangements with Russia and South Africa, we also lock up palladium and platinum supplies too. Now, this kind of confirms all the stories we're hearing about COMEX and large amounts of standing for delivery of contracts and stopping contracts and the big accumulation of silver in COMEX warehouses. Apparently, according to this gentleman, this is Chinese precious metals that's being stored there through a U.S. intermediary. Now, another source has told me that Chinese warships that have been spotted are not on military missions throughout the seas around the world, but are heavily armed gunboats picking up gold and silver as payments from countries across Southeast Asia. So while I'm digesting this, I get another email. Quite a lot for someone who is a less known American gold writer. But apparently this gentleman, Mohammed Bo Haloni from Saudi Arabia says, by now you receive notice from China about China plans. Okay. Saudi Arabia now selling oil for Yuan and have been since 2015. We have shifted much of our U.S. Treasury position to gold held side out Saudi Arabia. We wait revalue of gold price. This going to be greatest wealth transfer in history. Whew. Okay, so what does all this mean? Well, it means game over. This is bigger than any cunning linguistic data set or web bot hit. Bigger than Shemitah. Derivatives will blow up across the globe. The euro will collapse for certain, as well as other fiat currencies, and including and eventually the dollar. And now if Marine Le Pen wins before the collapse, expect her to create a mad franc and a gold back franc to try and save her nation. This also guarantees that we will absolutely run out of silver and gold in 2017, putting all of these bullion dealers out of business, and gold and silver will go no offer. You won't be able to find gold or silver to buy. What happens to the gold silver ratio? Well that returns to 10 to 1. And at 125,000 gold, 1,250,000 an ounce silver an ounce initially. But then as silver is rarer than gold, expect parity to be reached as silver plays catch up. 
Then supply chains are going to break down as China, Saudi Arabia, the BRICS nations, and others will accept only gold or silver bullion as payment for their goods. Then according to Silhouette data, the revaluation of gold by China will certainly lead to Weimar-style hyperinflation here in the U.S. and in the West. And emergency food like Mountain House will be too precious to even eat as it will trade for hundreds or even thousands of ounces of gold or silver per can. Now on the brighter side, a silver dime should be able to allow the holder to buy a comfortable family home. A roll of silver eagles could buy you a city block. And an ounce or two of gold might buy a mid-sized bug out island with air facilities. And Belgian could probably be had for a 2.2 kilo gold bar. As this new paradigm is ushered in on the road to Roomba, what should you do? You should buy gold and silver now from smallgold.com at the links below. You pay no more, no less than if you went to these sites directly. And Small Gold gets a small commission. You should subscribe to my channel and donate to keep this type of news flowing. April Fools. Thank <laughs> you.